Hi guys, happy Labor Day! Today really is Labor Day and um, the kitchen may look a little different. You are standing in my actual everyday home kitchen. If you follow me on Instagram that you know that the Laura in the Kitchen studio, the Laura in the Kitchen kitchen you see often is our studio kitchen and this is my everyday kitchen. Uh, Joy and I had this idea today to sort of share our Labor Day simple easy dinner with you because I'm sure that not just us, but a lot of you are having a very low-key Labor Day today. It's definitely different than years past. No parties for us, no big gatherings. It's just Joe, myself, and Mia. And I just wanted to make a couple things that all three of us absolutely love and that I already sort of had the things on hand for. We're gonna make a spaghetti with a really simple summer marinara sauce. This is just the canned tomatoes that I canned last week. Um, I do this about every year, so I'm just gonna use one of those. And then I'm just gonna make some cutlets. Uh, I've got some potatoes roasting. We've got Nana's eggplants here coming to room temp. And we're gonna eat that with some bread, a little bit of arugula. Like I said, potatoes are roasting and we're gonna make cutlets. It's all things that we love. It's things that you've seen me make before. If you see a fly, welcome to the real life summers in Jersey. <laughs> um, we were in the pool. This is my apron, this is not a dress. This is my pool shirt. I still have my bathing suit underneath. And I thought, I want to share this with my friends. I want them to see what we're going to be doing for dinner, how we're going to cook in our you know, kitchen. Mia's going to jump in. She's going to help me make cutlets, the whole thing. So let's start. We're going to make the sauce. Very simple, very easy. When you're working with fresh canned tomatoes like I am, you really just don't need a whole lot. Um, you want those tomatoes to shine. So all I do is exactly what Nona does. You take some garlic. You smash, you don't chop, because sometimes, most of the time, um, Italians really do take out the garlic once it's infused the sauce. They don't actually like big pieces of garlic in their mouth. So, you know, I leave it in chunks, and then I can just remove it. And also, it gives you a much more like subtle garlic flavor, because it infuses in the olive oil. And it's fabulous, my darling. I want to know from you guys how you're spending how you spent <laughs> your Labor Day weekend. We just stayed at home, like I said, and it was absolutely lovely. It was low key. We spent a lot of time outside, just trying to soak up every bit. Ugh, that is heavy. Of the last summer days. Cold pan. This, this is my extra virgin olive oil. This is what holds my extra virgin olive oil. And that bottle over there holds my regular olive oil. <laughs> and this is usually what I do what I use if I want a very strong olive oil flavor or as a dressing or things like that. So you see the color, the color is really deep. That is what you're looking for. And all I'm going to do is I'm gonna just throw this, not, li not literally gonna throw it. <laughs> I'm just gonna place it here. If you follow me on my Instagram and if you followed our live sessions, you know I break, things, I break these off of the burner every time. Don't ask me why, I'm, I'm rough when I clean and that's just what I do. So, once that comes to a sizzle, we're gonna add our jar of tomatoes. This is pure tomatoes and basil. That's all that's in here, nicely sealed. Pop it open. This is about like a pint and a half. Smells like summer. Summertime, local Jersey tomatoes. And now I'm going to do what, as I wait for that to come to a sizzle, I'm going to slice up a little bit of onion. I'm actually not going to add the onion into the oil. I know what you're thinking, but listen, this is Nana's way. You add just a tiny bit of thinly sliced onion to the sauce once you add the tomatoes in. And what happens is the onion practically starts melting in the sauce and it infuses with a little bit of flavor, but it's not overpowering. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to use half of this anyway because that's what Nana would use. So slice it thinly and just have it ready. Alright, sous chef is in the house. Want a whisk? Okay, so we're making cutlets. You've watched me make cutlets a million, a million and one times, I'm sure. You need chicken breast, thinly sliced chicken breast, egg, salt, parmigiano de giano, freshly grated, breadcrumbs, 
I, I like to buy the Italian seasoned ones. Extra cheese added in. Should we add more cheese, baby? Yeah. Oh, okay, hold on. Um, we'll do this, okay? You got sous chef in the house. Put the kids to work. They love it. They feel so grown up and like they've accomplished something so great and then they end up eating the final product. So there you go. A little bit more cheese in the breadcrumbs, right? Can you show our friends how you do it? Mm -hmm. Hold this top. Here, I'll show, we'll do it like this. Ready? Hold it. Put your hand on top of mommy's. Put your hand on the cheese. Yes, and now watch mama, okay? Good job! Yay! Perfect! Perfect! And if you see the fly, I apologize, but hey, life's short. Mix that around, and then you just do your, slow down, bubbles. You just do your typical breading. I don't do flour. I used to many, many moons ago. No, no, it doesn't go in there. But I don't do it anymore simply because I felt like the, it was helping the breading come off and it doesn't need it. The parmigiano in the egg mixture kind of helps everything adhere. So we're just gonna dip it in the egg and then we're gonna coat it in the breadcrumbs. Ready? Mm -hmm. Set, go. Yeah. You wanna smoosh it around? Mm -hmm. And you flip it. Yay! And you're just gonna continue. And here's another great thing. I'm gonna do all six of them. And then the other three that we're not gonna eat tonight, they're gonna go into the freezer raw. And then anytime you want a quick chicken cutlet, it defrosts in no time at all, and you already have it ready. So there's that. All right, we're just gonna to continue to do it. Done. Look at that. I'm gonna put that right in this dish. Technically, this is a pie plate, but you know, nobody cares. And obviously, this would be lots of leftovers, which is great because we love leftovers. We are one of those households that I like to make more so that I can have leftovers rather than not enough and just have a perfect amount to eat for dinner. I like to be able to know that if I get hungry at 11 o'clock at night, I've got a bowl of spaghetti in the fridge. <laughs> That's just how I roll. Pour the sauce on top. My chicken cutlets, the other two are almost done. I've got my eggplant, my roasted potatoes, which you're gonna see a whole video on those. Those are my Greek roasted potatoes. They are so fantastic. Probably my favorite potatoes of the moment. Just beyond delicious. Those are done. Crank that up a tiny bit on the cutlets. And then you just need a little bit more cheese because obviously a few bits of fresh basilico. And I mean, this is, you've seen me make all of these things a million times, right? But this is proper home food. These are things that the ingredients are most likely always in my fridge and pantry. These are things that I know my family loves, whether it's just my husband, my daughter, and myself, or my siblings come over, my dad comes over, my best friends come over. Like I know that these are things that they love and they're just prepared right. And that's really all that matters. Um, for dessert, we're just gonna give her a little vanilla cupcake and we are done for the day. This was our beautiful little Labor Day as a family of three. We're probably gonna eat this outside, enjoy the sunset, um, and just soak up the last days of summer. So thank you for watching. I hope this was fun, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let me know down below what your thoughts were and then we'll see you next time. Bye.